Hey gang, how's it going? K1GMM Vermont, My name is Steve. And I figured I'd uh, share this with you guys. Uh, for those who are interested in working on your audio, um, either on receive or transmit, uh, again, I use SDR consoles, the front end of the 7300. Uh, if you want to be able to analyze it and find out exactly what's going on with your audio, I have a great little free uh, piece of software I want to share with you. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called Spectral Aseem. Spectral Aseem, I think it's called. And what it does is it gives you a visual picture of what the audio is what you're pushing to the rig now what you're pushing to the rig and also on receive to do this if you're not running a pan adapter and you're not monitoring through the front end of let's say uh, you're not monitoring through like an HF plus an RTL SDR play or whatever you can do it if you're you can still use this if you have your transceiver interface to the computer via USB and if you put the transceiver into monitor and activate that device in your sound card to listen to it, uh, don't do it with your speakers turned up, that's not going to end well, but maybe put on a pair of headphones or just leave it muted and it will, when you key the rig, obviously do it on a dummy load. Don't be, you know, goofing around over the air. <laughs> um, you can see what your audio is looks like being pushed into the transceiver um, from a visual standpoint um, very very handy so uh, let me get this uh, and it, again like if if you're using SDR console or some kind of other front end on receive um, you can analyze the receive audio as well you can also do it from the transceiver you just have to be listening to the transceiver in your sound card through your computer all right, um, let's get right to it. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for this piece of software. It's extremely lightweight, doesn't use any CPU, and is I think it's very good. Uh, let's go to, okay, so this is what it looks like. This is my audio that's piped to the transceiver. Uh, I am running external rack gear. Uh, the microphone is a GXL2200 and this covers approximately from 20 Hertz to about 20,000 Hertz. So as you can see, um, I do have pretty substantial EQ and this is, I actually push this, I actually push the 7300 transceiver out to about 60 hertz to um, close to 4 kilohertz. I've had people dispute this, but if you were to listen to this transceiver on a web SDR, heck yeah, there's a whole lot of audio being pushed through this little box. So they're capable of definitely voodoo. Voodoo audio is not ESSB audio. ESSB audio is uh, theoretically flat. Uh, maybe a little bit of boost in the high end and in the bottom end, but Voodoo audio is, is a whole different thing. A lot of guys claim to have Voodoo audio and they do not. Um, voodoo audio is just insanely bodacious. Uh, crack the plaster, bodacious, that type of audio. Very few guys on HF have that. Um, so this is an analytic, analytical tool. You can run it uh, with all your other software. It's very passive. And there's certain parameters you can go to up top here. Uh, analysis, I'll show you where I have mine set. RTA 240 bands, 124th octave. Uh, the timing adjusts how rapidly um, the display reacts basically. Uh, weighting, I just use the flat Z weighting. I found that to be the best option. Of course, you can use whatever you want. 
uh, options. This gives you all the different options available. Um, it's fairly straightforward. It's not complex. Uh, you can choose the audio device here. Um, Windows Wave Mapper. Um, that's what I'm using. And uh, I haven't fussed with this yet. The V-Band Stream. I'm going to play with that a little bit, but I figured I'd share this with you before we got big thunderstorms coming in. And uh, I'm going to be shutting everything down, uh, disconnecting the entire antenna system. It's, it's going to get pretty ugly here shortly. So uh, this is uh, Spectral, Spectral Asim, I guess, however you want to pronounce that. It's free, online, very passive piece of software. And I need more monitors because I really like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on SDR console and I'll switch back and forth between the two. And we're listening to eCars, uh, East Coast Amateur Radio Service on 7.255. And you can watch what's going on with their audio. And this is grabbing all the audio on the desktop, anything that's coming into the computer. So if you're running SDR console, you can analyze that audio as well, uh, folks audio um, on HF. So here we go. Jump over to uh, desktop only and I'll get the mute. It's, it's, it only takes 10 seconds, 15 seconds, but it's worth its weight in gold, QSL. Thank you for joining me today in eCars. This is W2 DAR net control for eCars looking for check-ins. This is W2 DAR net control for eCars looking for check-ins. W3 Kilo Charlie Kilo. Kilo uh, W3 Kilo Charlie Kilo. W3 Kilo Charlie Kilo. Instant service. Good afternoon. How's everybody here? Uh, everybody's fine here. Uh, waiting for the thunderstorms to roll through. Can I have your name, please? Yes, the name is Dave, and I'm in Central Pennsylvania. Uh, you're coming in about a five four. Okay, you're coming in uh, between uh, four and five here, uh, Dave, and we've got some QSB that's uh, that's occurring uh, uh, between us right now. Anything else I could do for you today? No, I just got home. Thought I'd turn on the radio to see if the, the net was still on the on the line. Dave, I'm not sure whether you turned it over to me, but uh, propagation has dropped out between us, uh, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, one of those things that happens all the time on amateur radio. Thanks for joining me today. Have a good day. This is W2, DAR net control for eCars, looking for check-ins. Okay, um, 
I forgot to unmute the audio. So uh, this is K1GMM Steve Vermont. I'm going to go ahead and sign clear. Uh, the, again, this will work with pretty much any uh, transceiver with audio and or audio external rack gear pipe direct, directly to your computer. Uh, handy tool. Gives you a good visual representation of what's going on with, you, with your audio. And I got the hiccups. Uh, have a great day. And thanks for watching. I don't care if you subscribe, but if you want to be notified of any videos going live, um, either a live stream or a video posted, go ahead and subscribe. Click the little bell icon. You should get a notification there. 7-3 uh, gang, we'll catch you soon on the bands. K1GMM.